welcome back to the channel guys today guys we're doing asian cup i believe it's day seven i think it's day seven review of the asian cup so yeah today we'll be recapping um the games again so we're gonna start with the first game we got here syria nil australia one once again man i'm not convinced with australia once again not convinced with this team and i think for australia this is a bit of a underwhelming win they got the win that's all that matters but man Sir i feel so bad for syria they create a lot of chances this game i think they hit the crossbar on a few occasions they even I think almost scored. Matthew Ryan had to make a good save. And Australia, for me, man, they were just not great in the game. I was not impressed whatsoever with them. And I think for Syria, man, they're going to feel themselves. They're going to feel devastated not to get a point from this game. Because I honestly believe that this should have been a draw, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think Australia deserved to win. Because as bad as Australia were against India, Australia at least um, played better. This game, they did not play well whatsoever. I mean, you look at the statistics here. Ten shots, one on target, one big chance missed. And yeah, they had more possession and everything. And Syria, man, they just they just couldn't score, man. They just couldn't score. It's just very, very disappointing for them. Um, I'm trying to see if I can show you guys more stats here. And for Australia, man, Irvine, man. Irvine always comes clutch. You know, scored in back-to-back -back games in the Asian Cup. You know, scored against um, India, of course. And it was a bit of a slice of fortune for um, Australia. They got lucky there with that goal. And for um, Australia, man, like I said, man, it was a very, very... Um, very very lackluster performance you know Sut Sutaro I thought was great for Australia he was probably one of the best players for them and for the um for the for Syria man they their next game is against India and given what I've seen from India and in the, the Asian Cup I think they can get a result against India uh, but they have to win though anything less than a win they're not making it through so they have to make get it done and for Australia man this kind of lackluster performance is going to catch up to them because I don't think it's sustainable I don't think this is sustainable Having to barely scrape wins against like these kind of teams is going to catch up to them because they're going to struggle in the knockout stage. But remember, guys, remember, in these tournaments, it's about getting it done. And remember, you don't want to be too flashy. So maybe Australia will do like what other teams have done in the past. We'll have to wait and see, though. And um, their next game is against Uzbekistan. And if Australia gets a point against Uzbekistan, they officially top the group. Moving on to Uzbekistan. Uh, India, man. I'm absolutely shocked at how bad india were because india put out a good performance against australia they put up a good performance for the first 45 minutes my goodness me though in this game they were trash i'm sorry the first half they were simply abysmal second half they did come alive to a bit you know second half they did up things up a bit and they were not as bad as the first half but my goodness me that first half was simply atrocious and i look at that first goal that uzbekistan scored man wow Terrible defending there. Absolutely terrible defending. I don't know what uh, 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 Sandu is off his line and that kind of position. And I don't know why the defense is. No one is marking him at that header. And uh, Faisal, man. Shout out to him, man. Faisal was fantastic. Definitely the man of the match. Scored that wonderful goal. And then the second goal, man. Bad turn away there in the in the um, Bad turn away. India lose the ball in, their, um, in the opposition's half. And Uzbekistan makes a really driving run. And Uzbekistan almost scored. And I believe it's Jingen. I think it was Jingen. He almost had an own goal there. And then um, Sergev gets on the end of it and makes it 2-0. And then for the third goal, man. No sub, man. Scored a nice goal there. Great, great pass. Great intricate play. And it's a great, great finish there. And for that point on, man, India did have their chances. There was one really, really good save the goalkeeper made in the first half. Um, he came alive. That was a really, really good save. And the second half, India did up things up a bit. They were not as bad as the first half. But ultimately, they just didn't have enough quality finishing. And that was the issue. And for India, man... I think it's over for them. I think it's simply over for them in the group stage. I think they're going to go out of the group stage because for me, that even if they beat Syria, guys, their goal difference is still bad. I, I don't think it's going to be enough to be one of the best third place teams. And even if they get a draw, it's going to be bad. So it's going to most likely be last place. Even if they you know beat Syria, it's going to be bad. So for India, man, they're going to have to improve a lot for the next tournaments. And we can still see India is taking strides. India is taking strides to become a better nation. But um, they have to improve, man. They have to improve in their attack. That's my big concern. I, I talked about this in my preview, guys. I, I don't know where the goals are coming from India because they couldn't, they just can't finish, man. They can't finish. And the second half, like I said, man, they did kind of, you know, show some promise signs here and there. But ultimately, it just wasn't good enough. And I don't think Uzbekistan really were urging the second half. I think they were like, okay, you know what? We already are 3-0 up, so... We're going to kind of ease our way through. So I think Uzbekistan dropped a gear in the second half, and went, which is the reason why I think we saw India be better. So I'm really, really disappointed, man. And for Uzbekistan, man, this is a very good performance. And um, it's really interesting, man, really interesting, because I think I heard a lot of criticism for Serko Kantinj 
after the Syria game and how bad they were and how disappointing they were. And you could argue that Syria were the better team. And he fielded the younger players in this game. And you can see the difference that the younger players brought out in this game compared to the first game. So, you know, shout out to Fazlo, man. What a promising young player, man. I actually want to look at his... I want to see his... Um, because I never heard this guy before, to be honest, before this Asian Cup. And wow, he's an, ascent, he's an attacking mid. CSK Moscow is his club. And he's 20 years old. Guys, he can make a big move. He can make a big move to some of the big European leagues. Um, and so it could be very interesting, man. If he has a really, really, really good Asian Cup... He can make a move in the summer window. I don't think he's going to make the move in the January window because obviously, um, you know, the Asian Cup is taking place. But maybe in the summer window, he can make a move. So sh look out for him, man. Young, young player to look out for. I'm really excited for him. And for India, man, if there's any positives to take away from this game, I don't know if there is. Um, Sandu at least was decent in goal. I think he made some good saves. He made four saves in a day. But yeah, honestly, there's nothing really positive to say with India. I mean, I guess the second half, I guess you can say it was positive. But yeah, not much to say. Moving on to the final game we got here for today. We got Palestine 1, UAE 1. Wow. I feel like this game is best described by that red card. I think the red card completely changed the game. But before we get to the red card, man, UAE started off great the first half. They were fantastic. And that that pass, that that pass for that goal, man. Ali Sali, man. What a pass that is for the goal for Al Murray, man. Great, great header from that point. And for me, it was a beautiful header. And then the red card. Here comes the red card. And for me, I believe... <sighs> I, I can understand why it's a penalty, but is it really a red card? Because remember, guys, I believe a red card is given for a clear denial goal scoring opportunity. And actually, yeah, it is a clear denial goal scoring opportunity because if he didn't make that challenge, that player could have been one-on-one -on -one and may have scored the goal. So I understand why it was given. I think red is really... It wasn't a straight... I think, oh, wow, it was a straight red. So that's really, really bad for UE. And from that point on, man, Elisa, man, the goalkeeper for UAE, came a clutch with a huge penalty save. I, w I believe he went to the left, and Saeed missed the penalty. And it's a huge, huge save. Huge save to keep UAE in the game. And the second half, man, Palestine kept pushing and pushing and pushing. They finally did their, get their own goal. It was a bit of a comical own goal. A very, very scrappy one there, but they're going to take it. And from that point on, man, and you could tell UAE were so defensive. They were trying to just hold on to a point. And for Palestine, man, this is a huge, huge point because... If Palestine can beat Hong Kong, which they should be able to, we'll see what Hong Kong does tomorrow, then they should have enough to be one of the best third-place teams. And as for UAE, man, very, very disappointed for them because now they put themselves in a position where if Iran wins tomorrow, they're going to have to they have to beat Iran in the final match. They have to beat Iran in the final match, Jay. So for Palestine, man, they're going to be very disappointed not to have won this game because if they had won this game, this group would have got very, very interesting. We could have had a huge, huge upset. But unfortunately, it was unfortunately for them, it wasn't to be. And for UAE, man, I think they lucked out, man. They lucked out with a point here, and um, they should be happy, man. And obviously, yes, a man, man of the match in the second half. He made a lot of good saves to deny Palestine, and Palestine will be, um, will be disappointed. So, but hey, at least Palestine got a point here because if you had lost to ten men, it would have been peak. It would have been peak. So, that was my quick thoughts, man, on the Asian Cup games, like I said, guys. So, remember, guys, uh, we will do a huge live stream on Sunday to recap the games. And I hope we can get some of you guys to come on and give your guys' thoughts. I'm really looking forward to that stream. And, of course, in a few minutes from now, guys, we'll be starting our uh, Barcelona stream. So, um, like I said, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Check out my other pubs in the description below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.